Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in to 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading so let's just hop straight into it, okay? Angel Spirit Guides, Ancestors and Mine of the Highest White Light, give me some messages here for my YouTube collective, please and thank you. I'm ready to tell the world that I love you. Okay, collector. So you got a person here that's ready to like love you out loud. And I don't feel like this person kept you a secret. Or I don't feel like this person wanted to keep you a secret. Okay? I do feel like this is somebody here that you have dealt with before. So this could be definitely a past person this could be a twin flame okay um but i'm kind of getting that this person could just be very reserved like i don't feel like this man lets people know like who he's talking to and like he just let it be known openly but i feel like with you He's ready to tell the world that he loves you. You know what I'm saying? He's ready to show people like, look, this is my woman. This is my lady. You know what I'm saying? feel like your number one it's like your person choose you over everybody because he do love you and the love that he have for you is real here and he know that with you is genuine and it's unconditional here I feel like he's dreaming about you a whole lot here okay This is somebody here that I feel like is gonna love like being snuggled under you or you being or he's gonna want you being snuggled under him. I feel like y'all both feel safe in each other's arms. Okay. It's like a comfort that you all give each other here that nobody else can give you all. Only you all can give that certain comfort and safeness to each other yeah I do feel like every time your person have a dream 
I feel like before he go to bed, it's like, God, if I have a dream, I pray that I dream about my person, my divine feminine. Like, I feel like this is what your person be thinking. Like, he be, you know, thinking about dreaming about you. Before he go to bed, it's like he already be thinking about you. So when he close his eyes, you know, it's like, man, I see her face. I see her beautiful face. But I also feel like, y'all, I'm also get feeling like God shows this person visions of you all, the things that you all are going to do together and things like that, okay? Yeah, your person feel like this love here is very rare, it's very unique, and he feel like what you all are experiencing is like a one in a lifetime. Like this is not, y'all. I'm getting this scene off of Love Jones. You know, he had already rode the motorcycle, y'all. Okay, cause she was getting ready to leave, and it's like he had missed her, and they was like separated. I think for like a year or something like that. But like he was sitting, he was asking his friend, like, "Do you think you can be in love more than once, or?" your true soulmate or something like that he was asking can you find it and he was like love is what he say love is what you make it and whom you make it with but there is the character that character right there it was like he felt like he had missed the opportunity out on his soulmate like the person that he was meant to be with and whatever and I feel like at you know at a point I feel like your person could have felt that way it's either he felt that way before or he's feeling like that now like he missed the opportunity or something like that you know what I'm saying but he's feeling like this is one in a lifetime okay and he like look I don't want to lose it so I'm getting it together I'm doing right I want to do right by you for you I'm gonna be all I can be because I know that this is something that only comes once in a lifetime okay yeah this person I'm telling you this person love you and I feel like he you know how people say I love you so much and words words can't even describe how I feel about you some people can't even put it into words it's like the only thing they know is that they love you but they can't explain it like I feel like this is this is your person it's like he loved you more than words could ever show you know what I'm saying he loved you a lot and I do feel like you had like some type of third party interference I feel like it was people trying to tell your person that you really don't care about him like that. Or it was people trying to tell you that he don't really care about you like that. Like, it could have been on both sides with people telling y'all that y'all don't care about each other like that. You know what I'm saying? People got you thinking that he ain't in love with you, he ain't gonna never want to be with you, or it ain't gonna work out on his end. It ain't really nothing that serious. It ain't like that you really don't love him like that. And, you know, and they really didn't know what they was talking about. It kind of reminded me of uh, people think that this is just a uh, superficial thrill, but they're going to have to think again. That's like a lyric from a song, okay? Because that's kind of like how it, how it was, y'all. I feel like people was trying to interfere in this connection way too much. And they was trying to like turn y'all against each other, having y'all thinking that it's nothing real, it ain't really nothing, you know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all just lusting after each other, but it's not love and it's ain't con con uh, unconditional, it's not a soul connection. Like having y'all like doubt y'all stuff or, you know, doubt each other uh, and stuff like that, you know, but your person love you more than words could ever show collective 
know that no matter what nobody says and I feel like your person knows that you love him and it's real like no matter what people was trying to tell him or convince him it's like he know that it's real with you you know supposed to like divine timing is at play in this connection and everything is going uh, accordingly okay to plan that's what I'm hearing it's going accordingly to plan like everything is right where it needs to be here okay and I and I just feel like this person is close to like coming towards you for re uh, reconciliation here but just know everything is on the up and up. Everything is good. Okay? Yeah, this person could be thinking about y'all going on like some type of getaway with just you all. Okay? Like getting closer, you know, because it, I feel like it has been some time that you all have not been together. And this person is ready to, you know, get back close to you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all learning each other all over again and stuff like that here, you know? I do feel like y'all person always coming back it's like this person can't stay away from you I feel like at one point this person was running from this love child it was so intense it was so strong it was something that this person ain't never felt before and his tail was running okay the shoe this man said he ain't running no more okay he ain't running no more talk of the town baby everybody want to know what's up with you and this man you the talk of the town so baby i don't know how folks know what they know okay i don't know what they're doing but they knows it and they all up in the kool-aid trying to know the flavor 
okay? They trying to see what you and this person got going on and, and, and they prying, they spying. They trying to see something, child. You is the talk of the town. Just know that you are. And people want to know what's going on with you and this man. Because like I said, it already said he ready to tell the world that he loves you. So I feel like he's been very quiet about it. Don't nobody really know nothing. And I feel like some, that people is waiting on you and this man to say something. A name or something. Like, I know it. And like, folks, is ready for y'all to just come out and say it. I feel like your person finna do that, though. Like, he finna get ready to, to confirm things, okay? Because people really want to know. You know what I'm saying? It's like they speculate. People are speculating about y'all because they really don't know what's up with y'all. They really don't know. And they talking and they gossiping. They was, they, but these people was talking enough anyway because it said these folks was trying to get in, get in y'all ear and tell, tell you and this person that it's like y'all. they was trying to have y'all go against each other like this the relationship really ain't nothing. So it was people already gossiping and doing stuff, but I feel like people want y'all to just come on out with y'all relationship or something like that. But your person not coming out to satisfy these people. He's just wanting you to feel like, like, look, I ain't, you're not a secret. I don't want to make you feel like you're a secret. Okay? Like, I just want people to know that I'm with somebody. You're my lady. That's the only reason why. That's it. And that's all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Sitting in my room in my bed thinking about you. Child, this person, when when he in his room or whatever, at nighttime, whether it's him just waking up or getting ready to go to bed, it's like he thinking about you. He missing your smile. He missing your laugh. And he feel like he going to be forever yours. Okay? He feel like you you will always have a special place in his heart. But he ain't gonna never wanna let you go though. You know what I'm saying? Ever. Yeah. This person feel like the love that you all have with each other is so divine. It's so sweet. Okay? And he ain't gonna ever let it go. But that is all I have for you all. I hope that this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. God loves you, and I do too.